Hi Capricorn, it's Sloan Rhodes here with your, not your spiritual guidance, <laughs> with your life, purpose, money, and career reading for mid-February through March 2020 or whenever you happen to be watching this video or listening to this recording. All of my videos are available in audio format. There are links below. Okay, so Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. One card from the Life Purpose deck by doing Virtue. Three cards from the Archangel Power Tarot in past, present, future positions. And... We're going to draw one card from the Money Tarot by Eugene Vinitsky, taking a peek at your money from the spiritual perspective. It's for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising, mid-February, March 2020. Family and school. The answer that you're seeking involves going to school. Okay. Loving your family and friends is central to your life purpose. Well, it may be that you are involved in a family business. Maybe that you are starting a family um, during this particular time frame. Or maybe just the family's on your mind, you know. Um, and then under the deck, school. It may be that you're wanting to go back to school. It may be that you're being schooled <laughs> in the school of life uh, under the deck. Um, but you're very determined and, you're, and you seem like you want to achieve something. There. The answer that you're seeking involves going to school. It may be that just going back to school would give you a greater sense of self-confidence and autonomy, um, especially if you're inv involved in a family business. Maybe you opted to go into the family business without getting your education. You know, there's so many different ways it could play out. And you know, trust your own intuitive understanding of what this means for you. And I'd love to hear um, in the comments if you if you care to share. Um, and the central card here, loving your family and friends is central to your life purpose. You know, working hard for your family, to create stability for your family. Even providing a bridge for your family to the next level here. Um, we have this real generational feel to this card. So again, for me, it may be that many of you are involved in a family type of business or you're wanting to get your family more involved in your business or the way that you earn money, this kind of thing. Um, and for others of you, it may just be that you are wanting to start a family, you know, and uh, it's been on your mind a lot. And how can you, how can you have a family and still feel uh, that sense of, um, I'm, I'm contributing, you know, and you are, absolutely. Don't worry about that. You know, we, you know, if you think about a village, you know, the stereotypical village, everyone has a role. We can't all have the same roles all the time. <laughs> Not only would that be boring, it would be inefficient. Um, okay, so let's get some additional cards here. It's a general reading, so for all of you Capricorns, it's going to mean different things. And maybe for some of you, also, that you take a family trip during this particular time like Yosemite or something like that. Just kind of get a Yosemite vibe from that card. A natural park, this kind of thing. But I do feel like you're bridging. You're bridging some sort of generational divide here. You are bringing in other family members. And maybe that you're wanting also, or you're waiting for someone to get out of school. Uh, and bring them into the family business for some of you that may be how it's coming in. All right, so let's look, Capricorn. Past, present, future. Capricorn, something All right, so we have the Five of Michael in the recent past in the reverse. I like it in the reverse. We have the Seven of Gabriel right in the center. Libra got this in the same position. Um, we have the Four of Ariel uh, in the near future. Idea of the home with this. Um, and then we have the Queen of Ariel under the deck in the reverse. Could be an individual, could be an earth sign who, um, Again, we have this idea of family, again, as I mentioned, waiting for someone to kind of get schooled or finish school. The Queen of Ariel and under the deck here, again, it could be you or it could be somebody um, involved in your family or, or work life, work family, who is sort of not that 
uh, skilled or has that much confidence in being able to be an adult yet. You know, they still need a lot of help and support, um, and which may be frustrating at times, but it could be you because it's, you know, you're a Capricorn, you're an Earth sign. Um, all right, so we have, in the recent past, we have the five of Michael in the reverse, five of swords in the reverse. I do like it in the reverse because it does show that there has been an end to arguing, an end to the fight. You've agreed to disagree on some level, whatever that is for you, and you're moving on. You know, we have the idea of change with the five. It was unstable energy, but you're moving on. <laughs> you're like, it's done, whatever. I'm not going to fight. Your, your ego and my ego are no longer going to be in battle. We're just going to just move on. So whatever that was, it's nice to see it in the, in the recent past. Um, we have the seven of Gabriel here in the center, like, you know, seven of wands, seven of rods. So maintain your position here. You're in a good position, Capricorn. Keep, keep doing what you're doing. You don't need to, this is not a time to try to level up or, or reach down and grab other people. This is your time to just kind of be. You know, you're in a good position, maintain it. Uh, don't try so hard. You know, Capricorn is known as one of the hardest working signs of the Zodiac. Just maintain right now, you know. Um, stand up for what you believe in, yes. Have confidence, yes. Claim your personal power, yes. But it's not a time to ascend too rapidly. You're doing great. Just maintain what you got. <laughs> um, we have the four of Ariel, four of um, pentacles um, here in the near future. Again, this idea of family, the home, really illustrated here with this sort of house looking thing, um, structure, pagoda of some kind. When you give, you also receive. Being resistant to change, extremes in how you save or spend money. Again, for me, for you, Capricorn, it's about maintaining. With the seven of Gabriel and the four of discs, the four of pentacles right next to each other, the four of Ariel. It's about maintaining. You don't want to overgive. You don't want to try to get too far. Just kind of maintain during this time period. Don't worry. You've come through a battle. <laughs> you, you, you agree to disagree. You're moving on. Maybe during this particular time frame, you just spend more time with your family. Maintain what you have. You've worked hard, right? Why are you working so hard? You're working so hard for your family, right? <laughs> Not just for your own dreams and aspirations, of course, but you know, family's coming up is a, is a central central theme here. Um, and maybe you have in the recent past wanted to have a bit more support. And maybe you've been leaning on your family here um, for more support. But I feel a lot of energy around the home and around um, the family there. Okay, let's take a peek at your money, Capricorn. Pretty cut and dry reading, so I'm not going to go too, too into it. But watch your Sun, Moon, Rising sign uh, videos and recordings as well. Let's see how those relate. Maybe too that someone was wanting you to go back to school and that's what the fight was about. <laughs> I don't know. Um, okay, so we have the Two of Wands. And for your money, we have the Seven of Wands under the deck, which is this, this same card, right? So this is a time of kind of maintaining, waiting, right? Two Sevens. It takes, it, the Sevens are about seemingly delays or things is taking their time. So allow things to take the time. Don't try to push too hard. With the Two of Wands, we do see a beautiful um, card. You know, you and another possibly on the, you know, on the same page, you know, communicating well. Maybe you and your spouse, you and your family, you know, you and a boss, you and, you know, whoever, however you earn your money, there, um, there's good communication there. There's good flow there. So just maintain. Everything's going, don't go and find right now. Don't spend too much. Don't give too much. Don't try to ascend too quickly. Just just do what you want to do. Be with your family if you want. Things are going exactly as they're meant to right now, Capricorn. So maintain your position. Do your work. You know, don't slack off. But don't don't keep striving so hard. You don't need to during this particular time frame. Trust yourself, of course, always. Um, all right. So I hope that you find that helpful, Capricorn. Um, I wish you much love as always. And I'll see you on the next video. Or if you'd like a private appointment. You can schedule that at my website, or if you'd like a, a recorded video reading, you can schedule that as well. On the you can order that on the website, and uh, I also offer my weekly spiritual guidance videos every Sunday. So um, I'll see you next time.